Sambanani, 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 and a very warm welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Bong Gilehardi, the Chance Queen, and this is yet another review for the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. We are on episode 8. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications whenever we upload a video. And of course, if you're seeing this from TikTok, kindly follow us. Remember to like and comment. Today, we are seeing there's a whole lot of things that is happening, especially things that are a continuation from the previous night of this very morning, whereby we saw Ulundi arriving, Ulundi upon arrival, she sits there and she wants to be filled in on what is it that has been happening between day one and day seven afternoon, because she's arriving on day seven in the evening. God, okay? Things did not go as her expectations you know everything was going down south and it was like well 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 you know however though we see ula kongo pulling her to the side and then officially filling her in because she and her seem like they happen to be some sort of buddies we don't know when this friendship started but yeah they seem to be some sort of buddies however though in the morning, we see Crystal arriving up in arms, head over heels, all smiles and everything happy because we are in Fane Nikaluko. Dinawa have been sorted out. Do you understand? So, of course, anybody and anybody would be happy. But first of all, I went to the guy's place. I met the parents. I met the sisters. Jiggy jiggy, heavy heavy, nya nyo nyo miswa nyilwa, nyiswa at the other room only to get something something for my dinawa and you understand, five for seven in the morning she arrives and I'm sitting here thinking to myself, girl, we wake up at 4am, by five past four you are out of the house, what the, what the hell is wrong with you, you should, you should have been home before they woke up. But I understand your plan. I understand your game plan. I know what you're sitting on and I see it. I see you unfolding it. Hanyani, hanyani. And trust me, I don't have a problem with it. Ola see, no long did they call each other there by the beach, you know, for all time's sake. Ugutin, as I'm a sales of Ganyana and be here and be there. You understand while we are catching up while we are filling each other up on whatever right and then um lejoy joins them later and buzz for couple couple but while lejoy is there i am noticing something and that is that something that i'm noticing is what lakomo said the previous night Uguti. when you have done a liposuction on the bottom part of your body it's man-made. And I'm looking at her and I'm thinking to myself, they sabotage you. Because it cannot be this form. It can't be in this formation. Does it make sense? You, you, you. It's like the one side is higher than the other one. And the other side is more richer than the other side. I, I don't know. It's giving something like that. It's just... Somebody needs to pay back the money or do a reconstruction if that is even a term for a life section. Does it make sense? But again, the very same uh, La Joy, Ophilangati Umel is being racist against her. And all I told no, 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 no. No, no, I like, but no, that is not a, that is not racist. That is not, not a racist remark. She's just being emotional and she's probably feeling suppressed, do you understand, or overpowered. Sometimes when someone intimidates you in a in any way, you feel like whatever it is that they say to you, it is to bring you down. It is to, you know, put you against a corner. And so she probably felt that way and let a better way, a word to to describe Oguti Umenza Afilinjani Unoino and a racist was a very strong word in this regard. Very strong word because it is uncalled for you not you are not supposed to be using that term. You don't just throw it around as you please. No. Hai regialo, hai at all. Do you understand? 
Ulondi now the first day of your arrival, first morning, you know, afternoon, and you want the girl to be active, you want to be out there, you want to do this, you want to do that. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, Ufitileka half bars. Like literally, Ufitileka half bars. Ntawuli kairi naina, ntawuli kairi yaita di up and down, ria di wiji, ria di beach party and everything. Where were you? And now you want to come at the 11th hour to say, um, let's be active. Njaini, no, no, njaini. Because you were not here all along. Please, give us a, a break. We beg. We see Mel as well calling Piet. Yes, in the bag of Mel, no Piet. If you na ibu go as a 40, because clearly, Piet is giving you, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a hint what to do on the day, you know, because this has happened. This is how you must retaliate. Hence, she's always up in arms, guns blazing, dragging people one by one. Because on a support structure, on a support system, when you have an entire team of a husband supporting you, do you understand? Ogutala, he says, by the end of the call, Ogutu, you must remember to, to shoot the girl. So it's one of two things in my mind. One being... Shoot the girls in terms of recorder. Scalabala or recorder. Scalabala camera you. I wanna see. Do you understand? Two being attack, attack, attack. You have an opportunity, come out, guns blazing, do your worst. So is everything okay in your mind? <laughs> because it's giving Do you understand? Yeah, but then Ooh, uh, Unonku, Bev, and Mel, they go out to, is it queuing or chewing, something like that, you know, but J, adventurous nature lover kind of vibes, you know, to actually bond some more. And I really commend and love what Uliz did when speaking to Bev in, in regards to the daughter, you know, I'm sporter with the husband at their holiday home visiting there and she was also there and she was like oh i am i am Bev's daughter the audacity when you are there with your father you know and i love how Bev also receives it in a, in a sense of um it would have been bitter coming out, uh, out of a, a, a third person's mouth you understand but because it's coming out of your mouth i'll take it I'll take it. I love it. I'll take it. I'll, I'll respect you that much to say you, res you respected me enough to actually tell me and not let me hear it from the third person. And that is quite a commendable thing to do. It's, it, it, it's saying who you are. You are, you know, a woman of principles. Understand? And then Elton and Umel, they are having conversation. We see Elton a lot. Elton is the villa manager at the Ultimate Girls Trip. And as a villa manager, really, you are part of the content. You are part of whatever it, it, it is that is happening, a day-to-day -day running. So Umel is going there, you know, to, I don't know, Ufuna, a safe space, Ufuna, Boda, Ufuna, because it seems like Mel came here on an agenda to want to iron out a few things, to want to, you know, clear out, you know, make themselves good people again, because clearly by the look of things, Baba in the bad box of a lot of people. So they are out here trying by all means necessary, Uguti, and we see you. We are very much aware. So she's out there talking to Alton. And Alton is doing an amazing job. We've seen him talk to Crystal. We've seen him talk to Nongu. You know, so he's quite a, a very present, you know, uh, member of the, the cast. Because he is a member of the cast in this case. You understand? Um, now, Ulondi, we learn from Unongu. Uguti Londi came late because of her visa. But Nongu has the audacity, the girl, to ask Ulondi at the table in front of everybody. And Uchi um, so Londi, why did you come late? And Londi responds, I see you've changed your face. <laughs> 
it's giving if you go low i go lower it's giving try me it's giving find me at the basement it's giving i'll be six feet under waiting for you <laughs> because ma'am how sarcastic do you need to be like how dare you go there go that far go that deep and it it, it, it felt to me like it, it went over the ladies head you know it went over their heads because had, had you had you hit her, we would have dwelt some more on that. Like, you know, so explain. <laughs> but she did that deliberately because she knows very well what she's from doing a lie for. And therefore, in, in, in that regard, if you want to come for me because I came here late, when you know very well why I came here late, then I'm going to come for you where you are weak and you're not going to come back. Do you understand? Because there's no comeback from that. I see your face was changed. How would you get back from that? However, though, mm -hmm. to the crew, I believe that uh, Ama Ama visas, they must prepare them in advance for all the ladies prior to them, you know, leaving and going to wherever, you know, departing. So it's distasteful. Uwuti, one of the members, Ivisa Yake, Ia Feila, and Kukosa Sale, Sali Lumiswa, do you understand? So we blame it on the crew, Uguti Ulodi, Upigalate, because we were all up in arms saying, ah, we over it anyway, do you understand? But Londi came late because of the crew. Yeah, the housewives, ultimate girls trip, so we blame them and not her anymore. However, though, let me know how you feel about all of this episode. Comment below, like, and don't forget to subscribe and, of course, click on the bell notification bar. Until we talk again next time, goodbye.